Yo. What's Here up? Here we are. Back again. Back with another episode. Back in the studio. Hey, who took the the damn table here? <laughs> it's been gone for weeks it's now. It's been gone so long. What the hell? Yeah. In the middle school band next door. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not cool. We, we really need that table. We're here again, another week, another episode of Country Boys. Tableless, except for Jason. He's living large with his I mean, big I, table. I guess it kind of works out. I can see the map a little bit better yeah. from here. So when you tell me some big random table, living a life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, how'd you get that life with that big table? <laughs> but yeah, we're here again. Another episode. We're at episode 12 right now. And we're going to go back to Europe. There's about five, I think there's five, like, micro nations in Europe. We've already been to two of them. This is the third. So we're halfway through our micro nation tour. <laughs> micro nation world tour of Europe. And we're going to go to Andorra. So yeah. I'm here. Got your host, Jeff. We got Matt, the co-host. What's up? Justin's out again, but we got Jason again doing double here, duty. Double duty. Got things. <laughs> the mixologist over here. <laughs> yeah. DJ Jason fresh. <laughs> boo, 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 boo. No, it's DJ Just <laughs> Jason. See, like you get uh, Justin's name just in there. Jason. Just Jason. Yeah. He doesn't okay. get money unless he pay- shows up, though. And he, yeah, then it's Justin Jason. Yeah, we're a different group. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't get that fat check. We're like Chromeo. <laughs> So, Andorra. So gangster. What do you guys know about Andorra? Let's, not a damn thing, Jeff. Let's just get that off the bat. <laughs> not, not too much. It sounds yeah. familiar. Yeah. Where, where do you think it is? Well, you said Europe. Okay. <laughs> where within Europe do you think uh, it is? Uh, Andorra. East? East. East Europe? East Europe, yeah. Like okay. near West. the Baltics, Wrong. maybe? West. Wrong. Shit. Western Europe between Spain and France. You got it. Yeah. Jason wins. The guy with the computer. <laughs> I didn't look it <laughs> in up. front of him. I know that. <laughs> we'll have to check your, quiz. your browsing history. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> he uses DuckDuckGo. He's already ha- Just the last half an hour, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, we don't want to get too personal. But yeah, so we're going to Andorra. If you haven't seen the show, first time listening, and you're like, hey, Andorra, we're going to every single country. In the world. In the world. World. world we're getting world, down and dirty. We're talking world. about it. We're talking about other stuff, too, but we're getting down and dirty on every country. We're digging up some dirt, and then we're figuring out, hey, are we going to go there? What do we go there? And then we make that determination. But I think I think you guys are going to like this place. All right. It's pretty fun. So, as Jason said, it's a tiny country in between France and Spain. It's... Close to Barcelona and Toulouse. It's about three hours from each. So Toulouse, France. Uh, Cat- or It's in Catalonia, but Barcelona, Spain. About three hours. It's in the mountains, so it's landlocked. If you've seen our Liechtenstein episode, there's definitely some similarities there. Both landlocked countries. Both super tiny. So it's kind of... Liechtenstein's kind of like the German micronation. Uh-huh. This is kind of like the French and Spanish micronation, or we'll say the Spanish, because they're they're in between, but I think they're probably more on the the Spanish side. Are they like a Catalonian? I was gonna say, yeah. Is that yeah. we're gonna learn more about them. I hope. Yeah, yeah. Good. Well, good. Oh, we're gonna learn a lot. If you if you think we're not learning on country boys, <laughs> you're watch something st- else. You're stupid. Go watch some junk. Go watch some porn or something. You know, this is a educational show where you're just gonna you're gonna learn. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'll learn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll learn. Everyone's going to learn. <laughs> you'll learn. You'll learn. <laughs> if you don't learn, we'll give you the amount of calories that you spent watching the show Thinking. back in, in sugar. <laughs> we'll pay you. We'll barter. And hey, that's a, that's a reference to our show last week on Kiri Boss. Yeah, and if but, you didn't learn something then, then <laughs> you're definitely not learning something. If you didn't learn something. something, then you're a fucking idiot, all right? I'm just going to say it. Okay, so <laughs> Andorra, the capital... Andorra La Vella, that's the capital main city. As we said, it's a pretty small country, so there's a couple other smaller towns. Andorra La Vella is the capital, highest capital in Europe. Take that what you want. Learn that. How many, that in your learning <laughs> pipe and smoke it. How many meters? It's about 1,500 meters. 
I don't know, 3,000 some feet. That was mental math. Thank you. <laughs> no, I, I think it was like 3,600. So, so meters times two equals feet. All right, got it. No, it, I did the math wrong. So you just you just call me out on my shitty math. But it was a, maybe maybe it was 1,000 meters, 3,500 3, feet, we'll say. So like mile high, right? Uh, a little less. Like, like mile is two thirds. Thirty two. A mile is five thousand six hundred. Oh, I'm yeah. way off. These are eighty feet. Yeah, maybe a, maybe a kilometer. <laughs> <laughs> See, learning stuff already. Four hundred and sixty-seven square kilometers. But for us Americans, about and I don't know why this kept coming up. This was the way of measuring Andorra. But everywhere I looked, everybody said it. About 2.5 times the size of Washington, D.C. Dang. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, like, yeah, this is Washington, D.C. like 14 square miles or something. If you've been to Washington, D.C., I grew up outside of Washington, D.C., so I get it. Okay, I, I can approximate it. If you've never been to Washington, D.C., it's kind of a pointless yeah. way of measuring. Right. But I mean, hey, even I've been to D.C., but I don't know how big it is like, right. physically. Yeah, it's it's just a measurement, but that's seriously what every single person said everybody was like 2.5 times and it's like 0.5 like you're gonna be like oh that's 0.5 but that's hey, weird. That's we're approximating population it's about eighty thousand people not okay. too many people yeah. about twice the size of Liechtenstein, as Damn, far as the population the probably the size too i don't know i forgot how big Liechtenstein was but we'll just say double Liechtenstein. so the language the official language here is catalan okay and it's the only the only country where that's the official language. So it's oh, because Cata- Catalonia isn't right because it's kind of its own. It's a, it's like a recognized area that is recognized in Spain for being culturally different, but still part of Spain. Interesting. But so, Catalan is it's it's not an official language anywhere other than Andorra. So that's what they speak there. But they also, of course, being a tiny nation close to Spain, close to France. They all speak all the languages, and then they also... So they all speak three languages, plus most of them speak either English or... The uh, king's English. Portuguese. Oh, fair. Yeah, Portuguese, too. Because wow. there's... These are learned people. Yeah, th- these are these are some smart motherfuckers, I'll tell you what. <laughs> and the other thing, too, is they have, like, a 100% literacy rate and, like, education rate. Like, this might be the smartest place. I mean, there are 80,000 people. You might get shamed if you can't read. Oh, yeah. If you can't read in multiple languages, you're kind of a dumbass here. (laughs) So, I'll speak four languages. They all graduate high school. (laughs) All cool. (laughs) But, (laughs) you know what? Maybe they're a bunch of nerds. Maybe that's what it is. Sounds like Hogwarts. Yeah, (laughs) it is kind of like like Hogwarts. Um, How they're run. They do have a overseer. Is what they call it. No, it's it's I don't know some some sort of yeah, yeah. elected leader, elected official. Um, I, I like overseer, like some guy with a whip running around the place, <laughs> keeping charge. But that's that's who kind of runs the day to day. But then technically, who runs the country is the the current president of France is like so they have a co co leadership. Mm-hmm. So there's the one guy who's kind of below is just the prime minister or whatever president. But then above him, the people who actually run the country, and I don't think they really do much to run it, but it's the president of France and the bishop of some place in Spain. Hmm. So it's like a co-principality where they're the two princes of Andorra. Whoever's this bishop at the time and whoever's the current president of France. And then they have this third guy who's just kind of like the actual figurehead leader. But it's the only place that has that system. Sounds like very old dominion yeah and the thing about this place is it is old like it's been a it's been a place for i don't know two thousand years like even the romans back in the day or back in medieval times or whatever it was always kind of its own thing right kind of like san marino we talked about san marino being one of the oldest republics or maybe the oldest republic or something yeah like as an actual country that's kind of had its same boundaries Andorra is the same way in a lot of ways where no one's really ever taken it over. It's kind of just been its own thing. Napoleon, like the Spanish, the French, everybody who's could have conquered it and they could have easily conquered this place. Everyone's kind of like, 
you know, we like you for you. We, we like the fact that you're you're out there doing your own thing. <laughs> so they're tiny, but they get respect. They respect from a lot of a lot of people. And right. look, Spain or France, either of them could have said, "You're you're us. You're one of us." But never never happened. So, huh? But I yeah. think unlike San Marino, which has kind of just always stood on its own, they've had. I don't know. They've always been their own thing, but they've kind of wavered in different directions. They use the euro, but they're not part of the EU. They don't actually have a currency. There's no national bank. They do have other banks. There's a lot of money laundering that goes here, like all Mm -hmm. these micronations. That's basically what they're there for. It's just like a tax haven, money laundering place. The Cayman Islands without the water. (laughs) Yeah, basically. But they're their own country where the Cayman Islands is still a territory. But... It's that same idea where it's like they can make up their own rules. And the reason why everybody would go there is for tax reasons. Like Delaware. Yeah. Kind of like kind of like Delaware. I guess not as pretty as Delaware oh, though. There's no way that this town in Barcelona in the mountains is nearly what you have when you go to Rehoboth Beach and <laughs> out there in Delaware. I mean, that's God's country. <laughs> I thought you were serious for about three <laughs> seconds. I really did. I was no, like, wait, it, I mean, is Delaware that great? I've never no, been. Delaware sucks. <laughs> um, but small but big. Right? So they have no prisons, no army, no lawyers. Their police force is about 240 people that are practically like volunteers, like volunteer right. firefighter. But this is volunteer police. But yeah, it's one of the safest countries in the world. Hmm. So if you, you know, huh. if you want to get rid of somebody, you might want to go to this place and uh, throw their body over the mountain. No questions <laughs> asked. You know what I'm saying? There's no CSI there. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, there's there's some volunteer police who are, yeah, they're not going to catch you. You can get out of there. You can hop on a train, be in Barcelona in three hours, get on the next flight to Kiribati and Never be seen again. Live I'm just your saying. life till ten years. Till <laughs> yeah, it sinks into and the ocean. And then you'll die in the global warming surge, but... or become a merfolk. And you go to San Marino. <laughs> yeah. Well, once you have your baby mama in Kiribati, and you go to San Marino, that was the historical place for yeah guys leaving their wives. So exactly. Go yeah. to San Marino. See, we've got a plan yeah. going here. Of yeah. course. Physically, in the Pyrenees Mountains, in between Spain and France, landlocked. No airports, no trains. You got to drive to get here. You really? No trains? There's a train station, I don't know, a couple miles away, I think, in oh, France. Okay. So you, you can get there probably by going to there. Right. Hitchhiking. Hitchhiking. Jumping in the back of someone's truck, rollerblading, however you <laughs> want to get around. Um, and then you can make it up there. But, yeah, you can't fly to this place. One person I want to get to, their history, it's, it's a lot of just kind of fighting going back and forth. But in the 30s. And look, we love crazy characters here on Country Boys. We love hustlers, swindlers, no good nicks, Hoods, stubby, vandals, vandals, <laughs> uh, fraudsters, atolls, atolls. We we love all those types of people. So this guy might might be the craziest person we've come across yet. We had the crazy Sultan in Brunei. There's oh, a guy yeah. in Nauru made there was music. A, well, the, he was he was just weird. The, the weird guy in Nauru. This guy. He might take the cake so far as craziest person we've talked about on Country Boys. All right. And I'm excited to talk about this guy. So his name is Boris Gosreff. 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 He's a Russian guy who basically got exiled from Russia, moved to the UK, was in the UK as a fugitive, or I don't know what he was doing in the UK, but he basically was in, in London. He served in the UK Army. He got kicked out of London for, like, forging checks, selling fake gold, something like that. Doing shady shit. He gets kicked out of the UK. He's somewhere in Spain or France. Stumbles upon Andorra. He tries to run for uh, this, like, president position. Or he he basically tries tries to become the ruler of Andorra through bullshitting, going around the countryside, just kind of telling people what they want to hear. Mm Mm-hmm. He has this idea of creating Andorra as like a tax haven utopia. And this is back in the 30s. So this is before kind of they have their status now. Right. So he's hustling everybody, swindling everybody, lying. He's saying he's like Russian nobility, English nobility. Basically, he's just this big bullshit. Just bullshit, yeah. Somehow this guy gets elected to be the 
the, the ruler. He declares himself king. He just says, "This is like I'm. I rule Andorra now." And he has this this crazy long name where it's like, like Boris Dostoev, the something something of something something. <laughs> like you know, like he gives himself all these names. On top of all this, this guy has a monocle. So nice. Just to make him look even crazier, he's got a monocle. He's <laughs> so he looks like the Monopoly dude. Yeah, and he just basically de- declares himself king. He ruled this place for a week. A week. And then he declared war. Again, this is like a super tiny country. He declares war on the bishop, who's the other... I, I said there's yeah, like the bishop yeah, yeah. who rules and the French president. And I guess... This is kind of a side story, but... I guess before it used to be every other year they would switch. So one year it would be French, one year it would be... Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, like... The Spanish bishop. So at the time when he took power, the Spanish bishop was the current ruler so he declares war on this guy which he just got elected he was there for like i think it was like 10 days he was the president (laughs) king ruler of this place and he declares war they just send a bunch of troops and basically just arrest the guy and then throw him (laughs) out and that was it (laughs) that sounds great (laughs) that sounds like he lived a fun life what's uh what's that movie with leonardo dicaprio frank what's his face uh titanic no the true story where he chases him around he, he's catch fr- me if you can catch me if you can yeah. frank yeah he doesn't matter but yeah <laughs> well it's a real person no, i can't right, think no, of his name we don't want to give away his identity he's a <laughs> similar type of guy where he's just some bullshitter goes around the country saying hey you know i can do this for us i'm gonna make this i'm gonna make us this tax haven everyone's gonna come here then the second he gets in power is like Fuck you, I'm declaring war on you. They're just like, oh, dude, you're, you're out. You're fucking out. <laughs> you're a tiny nation. So, I mean, did he go to jail for the rest of his life kind of thing? Okay, like, would, so. Uh, if, if he got out, then this guy's living oh, a dude, life. No, he got out. He th- This guy is like a cat. He has nine lives. He gets out. or he, First, he goes to trial. He has a trial in, I think he went to like Barcelona. He had to go to trial in Madrid. He was in prison in Portugal. And I don't think he wasn't that big of a threat where it's like, you're serving life. They're just kind of like, you're locked away for a couple years. He didn't kill anybody. He just declared war and, like, I mean, he's crazy. Right. Then somehow he ends up in Germany or something. And this is during World War II where, like, the Nazis came. He tried to help out the Nazis. Like, he sided on their side. They lose. He gets captured again, gets thrown in jail. (laughs) And then... I think, like, he got out in, like, the 60s and then lived the – like, he lived to be, like, 90 or something. But he lived the rest of his life in some German town. But wild dude. <laughs> Just read the story about him. Another wild damn tit. Yeah. This is <laughs> – I'm paraphrasing a lot, but – I Well, yeah. I mean, clearly, this guy, like, holy shit. This guy needs a movie about him, dude. He, he made himself the king of a country and then was – Living life for ten Fuck days, you. and then it's like I'm I'm declaring war on basically on Spain or you know Catalonia, the the bishop. It's like, <laughs> dude, you're a maniac. But but I mean, he did it. Yeah, he did. You can live to tell that crazy story. bastard. He did it. <laughs> that motherfucker did it. So yeah, look him up. Um, let's go to the the food or drink. Place. Let's go so. to the phone lines. Okay, nobody. Back to the food and drink. <laughs> we we do need to get phone. got him on the phone. I wish we had a phone line here. So they they produce a there's not a whole lot of space to grow. It's in the mountains. They produce a ton of tobacco, or at least a good amount of tobacco. It's a big place for tobacco. Hmm. Like I don't know, there was stuff where you can get like a two foot long cigar. They also import a lot of tobacco and sell a lot of cigarettes. It's it's kind of like. Because the taxes are, they have no tax there. A lot of people from Europe go there to smuggle cigarettes. Um, their main meal, so they had a escudouille, escudu, escudella, which was like their national dish, mm. uh, just kind of a stew. But most of their, most of their food is like land based food. Like yeah, I mean, but they're they're close enough to Barcelona where it's. A lot of Catalonian food, I guess. Right. But they, they have a lot of, yeah, meat, like, uh, not meat, but game meat. Yeah. As, as well as seafood because they're, they're relatively close. Is it, is it paella? That... I'm sure you can get paella there. Yeah. But they're not known for the seafood, but they do have it. So um, we said it was a tax haven. 
and it's basically most of its most of its money comes from Europeans going there to shop. They can shop there super cheap. So most of the people who go there, they go to ski, they go to shop. So that's that's really like the main oh, so industry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a ski T- town. Tax haven, skiing. Yeah. Shopping. Shopping. And becoming governor for a week. Yeah, if if you're the crazy guy in the the 50s, but they do so they don't get like a like by volume it's not a, a super high number of tourists, but by tourist to person ratio, it's like the highest. Right. Because you know, everybody from Barcelona people. is like, oh, we can go up there, go shopping, do some skiing. But it kind of made me think this country's pretty much just a big mall. It's like a mall of a country. Yeah. If you're in the mall food court, what's Ooh, your go-to? I was hoping Chick-fil-A. you were going to go. No, don't say Chick-fil-A. Why not? I mean, Chick-fil-A is a good pick. And especially when they're giving samples, you just wrap around like three or four times and you get yourself a kid chicken nugget meal. All right. That's a good deal. No, but I mean... <laughs> I don't know what else. Is, okay, I'm trying to think. Let, of some let's of the, start from the bottom. What's the worst mall food? That's always there. That you're just like Saboros. <laughs> Saboros is pretty trashy. <laughs> yeah, I can. When I was a when I was a kid, I thought like oh, I was like excited about it because you could just get a slice of pizza. Yeah, and, yeah. But I also was like a kid and just yeah. wanted it right now. Yeah. yeah. So. I'm trying to think of what else. So let's name some of the other ones. Sabaros the Great American Cookie. Yeah. I mean that's Auntie really Anne's and. I, I think Auntie Anne's is, is a bit of a letdown. I'll get the sample. What about Cinnabon? Cinnabon's dank, but again, I, I won't. I don't eat a lot of. I don't know. I, I feel like at a mall, I'm never craving a Cinnabon. I mean, I'm gonna give Cinnabon at the mall sometimes. <laughs> 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 Sounds hey. pretty good right now, actually. Yeah, I, mean, they I are might stop and get one. Let's go to Barton Springs. I, get one <laughs> home. I feel like Cinnabon that could be another sunny delight bet for me. Where it's like I can never eat a Cinnabon at a mall. Like, what about Cinnabon brands at home? Yeah, and what about just like a homemade, oh, count? What about a homemade cinnamon roll? Not a, not okay. Not cinnamon. Look, I'm not going my whole brain. life without eating a cinnamon well, roll. <laughs> honestly, I could go my whole life without eating a cinnamon roll. Who the fuck is that? What is wrong butter. with you? Way better desserts than what cinnamon about, rolls. No, there's not a whole lot. What about the orange? The orange one. Oh, yeah. Orange no, the orange cinnabons, dude. Where are you at? <laughs> hey, I'm thinking mall foods. All right? Um, cinnabons tight though. I'm not going to do that to myself. I mean, you don't like soft pretzels could, though. Or I just you do don't that. like Auntie Anne's. Auntie Anne's is good. I just don't really yeah, want a pretzel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so like, what else? What are the other what twist are the other and names? shout? You know, some of the other pretzel places are pretty good too. Oh, what, right what's now. the cookie place? That's what, another one. Great American cookie. One is a great American. Great cookie. American cookie. Yeah. There, there was definitely another good, one, like red. That's I'm not something to, I would. Yeah. That wouldn't be my normal mall food to get. I wouldn't really want one. I mean, yeah. Just depends on the last time I had a cookie. Okay, yes. imagine this: if you could design your own food court, Ooh. you have. Three, you have four spaces. What are you putting in your own food court at Jason Mall? I'm having um, like a Thai Vietnamese place, okay. you know, something like that. Like takeout, though. Yeah, takeout. Okay. Um, some kind of like high end pies, you know? Okay. Some kind of like pie play. I don't know if that exists in malls, I assume somewhere. And fuck. Like, yeah, a, a spicy chicken sandwich place or something, I guess. Yeah. Fine. Like okay. Chick-fil-A. I guess that is good mall food. I yeah. Don't know. yeah. I just, yeah. All right. What, what about you, Matt? What's your what's your mall food? I mean, court? Chick-fil-A for one. All right. So we got Chick-fil-A. I guess Chick-fil-A kind of I mean, has I feel like ice cream. I mean, you got to have a dessert. You couldn't have. Yeah, I mean, what about but Chick-fil-A dessert? does have the, the ice cream and no, shit. No, let's, let's say you're mixing it up and you're not having their bullshit desserts. So, I mean, what's a Cold Stone? Okay. okay so oh, Cold Stone, yeah. Chick-fil-A. Cold Stone, yeah. Cold Stone, Chick-fil-A. Yeah, Chick-fil-A. You got to have an Asian place. Panda Express? But yeah, uh, I guess Panda Express. Yeah. I, mean, I would have been okay with yeah, that. Yeah, that's too. pretty. I always like the Japanese versions of Chinese food. Like, th- yeah. there's always a Chinese place and then right. the Japanese place where they do, like, I'd always, I'd always go to the Japanese ones. I think. Right. And then, uh, like a, like a Moe's or a Chipotle or something with burritos, something like Mexi- Mexican, yeah, Southwest, Southwest Mexican. Yeah. All right, yeah. that's a respectable food yeah. court. 
I think what I think about like a bulk like candy? That's that doesn't have to be in the food court, but you know you're gonna get like. I think two that's pounds. part. I think if we were playing like Sim Mall, yeah, a candy it would, store be. would be part of the. It food would court. be. Then it might be a mine. You know, I would have a candy store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think like really exotic gummies from all over the world, <laughs> from um, all different kinds of nerds. Brunei. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I'm doing mine, I'm definitely doing the Japanese place. Yeah. I'm doing. I think I'll go Chick Fil A. That's. I feel like that's a mall classic. I mean, it's a classic. Arby's. Gotta, I. I think I still remember the first time I had Chick Fil A <laughs> in a mall. Yeah. Um, I gotta go pizza, not Sabaros, but yeah, there's gotta be yeah. some pizza. Some other pizza. Yeah, fuck Sabaro. I hope they get. And then. Out. I hope you're watching John Sabaro. You racist. <laughs> <laughs> you're thinking uh, of Papa John. Oh, uh, I just assume they all leave are. Leave them on the <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> Oh wait, that old Italian like, guy who started to the John. He's definitely There's racist. No way he's <laughs> <laughs> he didn't grow up in the inner city. He was friends with everybody. He's like Mr. Rogers, that old crusty Italian guy in the white beater. No, he's not racist at all. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't even know who started Sabaro, but all right. If I had to pick one more, it's John Sabaro, apparently. Did I already say a dessert? No, no. Um. I'll do a soft serve place. Where Ooh, you can put your own yogurt. On. I like those. Yeah. yeah, yeah, those are good. Or like, yeah, I mean, yogurt was all right. That came to, that came around much later. Yogurt yeah. wasn't a thing when we were kids. No, no, it's not a classic mall. Right. Stable, but if you owned one kiosk at a mall, what would it be though? Phone repair. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you get real quick. That's that. where the money's at, man. <laughs> Is it? You already, it sounds I like guess. you knew that. He does research. Interesting. You know, that honestly, Phone that's repair. that's the only. That's the only kiosk in a mall where I've been like, okay, I like I actually need to use this. So it, all the other time, it's like potpourri. Yeah, and a bunch maps, of bullshit. And you're like, here's seventeen thousand different calendars for this yeah. one year. <laughs> or they have like the sports memorabilia, uh, like the rip off T-shirts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I mean, I phone got... repair. Everyone's gonna go to you. Oh, for sure. You're gonna get the most for business. Sure. It'll. Like phone screens and shit. I'm trying to think of some of the other kiosks. Most Engraving, of, like the bullshit bouncy balls and the. You oh know, yeah, like, like the, catch them. Well, I remember the the laces. What are those like? No tie laces. Oh god, like, I back don't in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That like you had to go to a kiosk to get those. Remember that the... was your only option. They didn't. Have, the, you couldn't get that in a store. You had to go to the kiosk. It's like going to like the guy outside in the parking lot, like <laughs> just doing a sketchy deal. But oh fucking mall key. I haven't been in a mall in so long. Hey, well, when we're we going... go to Andorra. Well. We're... Do all the mall things. Oh, no. We're going to Barton Springs after this to get a fucking Cinnabon. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to shove it Yeah, we're going to make you eat one, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, I, I I didn't make the bet, but if somebody... <laughs> we Nobody bet you. We're just yeah, going to make you eat a Cinnabon. No. I'll eat the Cinnabon. <laughs> and then tomorrow you're going to want one again. <laughs> again. But again, again, I haven't had a Cinnabon in... They've changed their recipe. Eight years? Yeah. Ten years? I don't you know. Wouldn't even, I, don't know you, I don't know when the last time I had a Cinnabon. You want to get extra frosting on it, too? All right. So let's, let's wrap this place okay. up. What's the verdict? I, I'm I mean, it sounds in. cool, yeah. Skiing and cheap shit. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak a bunch of different languages. They're close sounds to Spain. Cool as hell. They might, must have their. Own. I mean, just go from Barcelona to. Yeah, I think this isn't a place I'm going to seek out unless I'm like, oh man, I want this like that new pair of Levi's ten percent off. But <laughs> I think it's definitely a place I would go. Not a place I'm seeking out to go to. But right. if I was in. Barcelona for like three weeks somehow and wanted something to do, definitely I would go here. Like if I happen to be on the train that was traveling somewhere between at hundred miles Barcelona an and France or whatever, like, oh yeah, this country. Yeah. Sure. Check it out. Yeah. No, I I think this place seems cool and uh yeah, maybe one of us would be like old Boris Boris, whatever his name is and Schoffensheimer. Become king Sch of the country. Scheister. Boris Scheister. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna ch check it out, I think. Um some reason like a, a national treasure, but European style. This like Andorra would play a big part, you know. That, like, <laughs> there's all these clues hidden there. And, oh yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, been around I, for a long time. I'm sure, they're hiding some shit. Yeah, there's probably some. I also think giant robots buried. Scheister there. knew what was up. That's why he declared war on that fucking uh, bishop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also fuck think you. I know your secrets. This place would be a good setting for like a murder mystery, mystery yeah. where it's like, uh -huh, the, like the, a... the volunteer police guy is trying to solve it, and they don't really have the infrastructure and. Oh, I know like how. I, yeah. A murder like mystery. I like I detailed uh in full extent in the beginning of the episode, but something like that. But yeah, no, it does seem like a cool place and I think 
I think this one makes our list. It's yeah. on the list. We're checking it Great out. Great job, Andorra. You did it. <laughs> um, all right. So that concludes this one. I think for the next one, I'm, we haven't been to Asia in a little while. So Time I think, to go back. I think we go back to Asia. Yeah, we been in Asia in a minute. Uh-huh. And maybe maybe Bhutan. Bhutan. Okay. Bhutani. Jabutan. Well, Jabutan. Yeah. We went to Jabuti. Well, I didn't go to Jabuti. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you missed that one. But yeah. Jabutan. We'll, uh, Jabuti. We'll see you on the next one. And uh, until then, we'll... We'll not see you. We won't see you. So we will see you later. (laughs) Bye.